Because one thing that gets people moving and getting ready to purchase is the receipts. So whatever tip we on, if you can always show the receipts, the analytics to show where you have made something, because now people see that it is realistic, that it is achievable. Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. and I'm back today with another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you how I make $1,000 per week by selling my ebook online. Now, if you're unaware, I launched my ebook on Black Friday and it is titled Build Your Brand on YouTube where I teach you how to make money on YouTube and grow your channel fast. Now guys, this video is gonna be kind of like a story time, but I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks in business as well. Now, just to give you a little bit of background history, I I started my channel in 2015. So I've been on YouTube about five and a half years, but at the end of 2019, December, 2019, I had about 3000 subscribers. And I was like, you know what, girl, it's time to take your channel to the next level. Like I'm ready to start making money. I'm ready to get my subscriber count up. I want my sponsorships to go up. So in December of 2019, I was like, you know what, going into 2020, I want to start taking some YouTube courses, seminars that's going to help me. So I registered for a course that was gonna start in January, but January 2020 came and then I had a video that went viral. It was my Ross video where someone had posted online about their Ross experience and my video was trailing behind their video. So I went from 3,000 subscribers in December to about 12,000 subscribers in January. And when I tell you, not only did that subscriber count go up, but that revenue count went up, the cash was coming in, all right? And so at this point, I still had the class that I was scheduled to take. So I'm thinking in my mind, okay, girl, if you already got the momentum going from the Ross videos, then when you take this class, you show enough, like this should take you to the next level in your YouTube journey. So fast forward, I get to the class and I'm in the class and I'm like, okay, she's about to teach us. I really didn't look at her credentials. It was just a local class. I get to the class and when I tell you this class was T dot rash, like it was, trash it was horrible the teacher was very monotone she really didn't know much about youtube and so like at this point i'm just dozed off like i'm just you know you know how like you're not paying attention and you start doodling totaling your bills you're doing everything but paying attention that's exactly what i was doing so i started looking at some of my classmates and i started counting i'm like hold up it's one two I'm like it's 30 of us in here right and so that means like 30 people paid her 50 dollars. so i'm like yo she didn't made a lick like she made 1500 dollars off of us and we're not learning anything. So I'm not, I'm thinking like, maybe it's just me. So I asked my neighbor and I'm like, hey, do you are you learning anything? She's like, no. So at that point, my wheels like started turning in my head and I'm like, yo, you've been on YouTube for five years at this point. It was going on five years. You've been on YouTube for five years. You know more than what she's teaching. And if you pay $50 for this class, you can at least make your own class and charge 20 or $25. So. At that point, I went home and I started just jotting down little notes and I was like, okay, well, this is what I would teach in the class, you know? And I was like, okay, I'll teach how to grow your channel or how to even make a channel, how to upload your first video. So I just started writing down like a brief agenda and then I went and I created myself a flyer. So I get the flyer done and I was like, at this point, I'm like, yo, I don't know if I should do this, but I'm like, you got 12,000 subscribers right now. Your channel is booming from the Ross video. This is the time to capitalize on that momentum. And so at that point, I was like, you know what? Forget it. I post the flyer. And when I post the flyer, yeah, like I did the flyer, I did the invite and the class sales out within four hours. Like, kid you not. So I'm like, what? So I post the flyer, the class sells out, and I did the class for March. Now, mind you, I don't even have like no true curriculum. I don't even know what I'm going to teach these people. I don't know anything at all. But all I know is I signed, I put 20 people on there and it sold out immediately. 20 people at $50. And then it was more people that wanted to come and they were like, hey, so then I opened it up for 10 more people, which made 30 people. And I made $1,500 with no curriculum. So fast forward, February comes and I'm still, my YouTube is still going. Everything is still working out. But then you all know what happens with 
the coronavirus, like the pandemic hit. So I'm going back and forth like, yo, I'm not about to give these people back their money, but you know, do I go for it? Do I not? But our state was didn't have any um, positives at all. So we didn't have like any watching the news just to see if I'm going to have to cancel the course because as of right now, the numbers are increasing and a lot of people are just getting scared. And I'm like, you know what? I have 30 people that signed up for this course. And according to what's going on in other states, they don't want gatherings of more than 10 people. But mind you, our state still had not imposed any actions regarding the pandemic. So this is about five days out before the class. The class is scheduled for the 14th. So on the 7th or 8th, I was like, I have to create something because how am I going to entertain 30 people just by myself? My husband is deployed. How am I going to do this? So at that point, I was like, ding dong, let me just create a workbook. And I was like, if you create a workbook, that way people can have something to take home with them. And not only will they have something to take home with them, but you know, if they're not paying you any attention, they can scribble in it and it'll just be good overall. So that way people can leave with something. So that's like tip number one, always give people something to leave with, like add your own personal touch. So if you're sending out packages, you want to give, you know, like a business card, a coupon card, a discount account, anything like that. If you're doing courses, you want to make sure that they have something that they can take away from your course, whether that's the PowerPoint, you send them a copy of the Zoom conference, do something that they know exactly where they have something to take away. So the class comes and March 14th arrives and people start coming for the course. And I would probably say that about 20, 25 people showed up. So five people did not come just because they were a little bit nervous or, you know, just what the news was stating on it. But the class was a success. I mean, it was fantastic. People started posting on social media. There was, they were sharing it with their friends. They were sharing it with their families. It was just like word of mouth was spreading how this course was so well. And so then people that didn't make the course was reaching out to me like, girl, when are you going to do this course again? I want to sign up. How can I be a part of it? And so at this point, the pandemic obviously happened and lockdown was imposed because I was like, oh, I want to give y'all the course, right? I wanted to do the course every single month because I really enjoyed it. And I was like, if I can make $1,500 in two hours just doing this course, oh, I'm just going to keep doing it every single month. But obviously the lockdown happened. So I was like, okay, well, for the people that did, couldn't attend the course, I think it was like five people that couldn't attend. I was like, well, I'll just do a course in the spring and the fall. I stay in Huntsville, Alabama, and it's kind of a small town. So pretty much people are always on board when something new comes to town. But then after that, it's like when people have been there, seen it and done it, it's kind of hard to get people to come back out and do it. And then with my YouTube now was really taken off because the pandemic hit and that's when I started posting the stimulus videos. So I went from like 12,000 in January to about like 90,000 came April. And then by June I had hit my six figures and I was getting my YouTube plaque. So that's just how quick my channel took off. So when people were seeing my channel take off, then like the DMs started coming a lot more quicker. And it was like, Hey, how can you do this YouTube class? I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to do all this. So I was like, well, I don't want to do, I don't want to create a course online because I was just trying to focus directly on the stimulus because that's what was paying the most money. And I mean, I had not seen this type of money ever in my life. So I wasn't trying to hear what everybody was saying about um, the course at all and so but in my mind i'm always like that forward thinking so that's like tip number two you always got to be on trend in business like watch the trends that's going on in business watch the trends that are going on in the world watch the trends just in general because sometimes you're going to have to pivot and you're going to have to move so when I'm watching the trends at the time, July was coming and it was like, it's not going to be any more stimulus. So I was like, you know, I need to go ahead and create an ebook because now if I do an ebook, I don't have to pay to rent anyone's facility. I don't have to have people in there. Like, I don't know what the have to worry about um, paying a facility, but also I didn't have to worry about how many people can be capped in one location because you know, like all the verbiage that was going around was no more than 10 people can be in a location. And so I was like, well, if it's 10 people and I charge $50, that's $500. But by the time you pay for the location, giveaways, try to give them a great experience, you're not going to make any money. So then I started to notice where the president was saying, hey, you know what, I'm gonna give a second stimulus check and I want $2,000. So I was like, oh no, I'm not even gonna worry about this. Let me continue to write the stimulus because 
I didn't make $30,000 in one month doing the stimulus, which I posted a video about that as well. So you can take a look at that video. So I was like, let me just stay on this stimulus train. So July happens, August happens, September happened, and then we're getting ready to go into the holiday season. And so then I was like, you know what? This season is going to be different. If you're going to launch a product, you need to launch it around the holiday season. So that is tip number three. Like anytime that you want to launch, I always try to launch around like or just capitalize off of different holidays, whether that's Black Friday, Christmas, Valentine's Day. It just works with it. A lot of people already are into buying and they already have their mind made up that they're gonna buy. And then with everything that had happened in 2020 with George Floyd, a lot of people were buying black. It was more Black Lives Matter, support black businesses. So I knew going into the holiday season that more people were gonna be willing to support. And a lot of people were watching my channel. So it's like, oh, hold on, she's doing this she's paying off because I was documenting where I had paid off my house I had paid off my student loans so people are watching it so now it's almost like where you're giving them that preview like the moment she drop it I want to buy it so going into the Black Friday I was like let me go ahead and create this ebook so that way at least I can go ahead and get a piece of this Black Friday money so October I turned off my phone for one weekend I shut myself down and I was like I need to write this ebook. But I was like, well, where am I going to get the content? What am I going to write about? And then I thought about it. I was like, yo, you created that workbook for them in March. Take that information from the workbook and just start with that. And that's exactly where I started from. So, you know, from me making this workbook, it was like, okay, this is now what I'm going to use for my ebook. And that's how I started. So it took me about two days about 16 hours i locked myself like no phone calls no nothing shut down and really just focused on writing my ebook and then for me i decided that i was just going to go all the way in meaning i was going to get an editor i was also going to get someone to um to put together the ebook i didn't want to do anything myself i wanted to present a product that just looked polished and it was filled with content so i went on i don't know what tip we on tip four tip three but i went on fever and at that time i decided to find someone that could like proofread my ebook so i hired a lady to proofread my ebook she charged me about 350 dollars, and then i paid another 350 dollars to get my ebook formatted and where they did the cover and everything so total i spent about seven hundred dollars on my ebook to get made so then at that point the ebook was done and so i was like okay now it was time for me to devise like a marketing strategy so I think we're on tip five now, but for my marketing strategy, we were going into November and I was like, I want to hit everyone before the Black Friday because Black Friday, I'm going to be competing with Fortune 500 companies. I'm going to be competing with other businesses and I know that everyone is going to be doing it. So like the first week of November, I launched as far as like, um, I, I would call it a soft launch. And I was just asking people, hey, send me your email. If you wanna get on my email list of when I drop my ebook, let me know. And so I created a Google Forms and it was just something real simple that didn't cost anything. I created a Google Forms and had people go ahead and put their name in their email that they would get the first alerts when I launch the ebook. And I end up getting probably about 750 email contacts at that time. Strategy was the first week of November, I would collect the email addresses. The second week of November, I was doing like little teasers where I was showing where the book was complete and I was showing like where people can get it. And I did that like on my Facebook, my Instagram, on YouTube. So it was now allowing people to see that the book was done and they were kind of inquiring. And then the third week, I decided to go ahead and drop a video on how I made the $30,000 in one month. Because one thing that gets people moving and getting ready to purchase is the receipts. So whatever tip we on if you can always show the receipts the analytics to show where you have made something because now people see that it is realistic that it is achievable and what i did in that video is when you watch the video at the end of the video I have to do to purchase my build your brand on youtube course for 14 dollars 97 guys that's less than 30 cents a day like how can you not grab it not only does it come with more information but it does give you a planner 
to really help you as you start your YouTube journey. And I mean, just imagine what you can do with $30,000. YouTube has truly changed my life and I want it to do the same for you. So to go ahead and get first dibs on buying the book. So once I did that, the people that bought the book, I made like $1,000. So that's another tip, like have it in there where I didn't announce it publicly that it was dropping. I just put it in my video. And for those that watched it, they were able to go ahead and get it. And then I used my email addresses that I had collected. I started sending those emails out and then people were purchasing from, purchasing from the email. And then the next tip I decided to do was a special offer. And that special offer was if you go ahead and purchase the book between now and up until Black Friday, that you would get a free Zoom class on it. And that starts to make people people buy a whole lot more because going into Black Friday, if you did not purchase, you was not going to get on the Zoom. And so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make people buy before they had a chance to spend their money with any of the other competitors, before they start to spend their money at um, any other facility, location, whoever, I wanted to make sure that they was gonna spend it with me. And then I also priced my ebook at a reasonable price. So a lot of people that purchased my ebook was like, hey, it's only $14.97, but you cover so much information. This has helped me so much. So I wasn't trying to be greedy. So when you think about creating your own ebook, a lot of times I've seen where people only charge 99 cents for an ebook and they sold like thousands and thousands of copies. But but for me, because you were getting an ebook, a planner, and a possible Zoom class, I was like, nah, nah, we not, we not, we not going that low. Okay, I mean, we low, but we not going that low. But if you do decide that you want to do an ebook, so that first week, I end up making about seventeen or eighteen hundred dollars, and then just moving forward, each week I kept inserting. Um, my ebook in my videos. And what I've noticed is that every time that I insert my ebook in my videos, people will go in and purchase my ebook. And so next thing you know, the next week I made probably like another thousand dollars. And then now we're obviously into December. And so in December, you want to buy stuff, right? So people were wanting to buy for their children that wanted to be on YouTube. Also, we were going to a, into a new year, and so that was some people's New Year's resolutions. And so I was just pretty much just making sure, you know, I highlighted those things, what YouTube can do for you. And so a lot of people at that point was like, you know what, for $14.97, I spend, you know, more than that on going to get fast food. So I will go ahead and support her and I will purchase it. And that's exactly. So for December, I was making $1,000 a week. And then as we went into January, January, the momentum kept going and it just ended up being a thousand dollars per week on there so I know this was a lot of pretty long video but as you can go ahead and see here I have made like ninety four hundred dollars but in you looking at this ninety four hundred dollars this is one platform I started off selling my ebook on convert kit and then i moved over to GoDaddy, and there's just a lot of things on why i moved over convert kit had just some different stuff going on but i'm over on GoDaddy, so i made ninety four hundred dollars on convert kit and then when i moved over to GoDaddy, that's where i made my additional like seven hundred dollars I had several goals when creating my ebook. The first one was to generate at least five figures by myself. So I at least wanted to make $10,000 on my ebook. The second goal was to create an evergreen product, meaning that if people asked me any questions or in regards to YouTube, or they wanted to know when I was gonna create another class, it's easy for me to just send them my link and be like, hey, here you go, this is all the information that you need on there. And then three was that passive income, guys. And that was because like right now I'm super busy and I just don't have the time to be doing everything. And you gotta understand that when you are creating products, I can't just go and have all these classes or do in person because now I can focus that time on doing other things. But with the ebook, you can go in there and purchase the ebook. I can now make money in my sleep. So people are buying my ebook at midnight at one o'clock in the morning, you know, and I don't have to be there walking them through it. And then fourth was, I know I want to take this ebook and use it as a collaboration product, meaning 
back last March, there were a group of girls who had did like an ebook bundle and they ended up making about $250,000 in one week on this bundle. So I was like, you know what? You're going to do this book and you're going to find some people and you're going to get a bundle. So I had like a few things in mind in creating my ebook, but this is how I made $1,000 per week selling my ebook. Now, is it like this all the time? Absolutely not. But you have to think of it this way as well. A lot of people want the high hanging fruit, like they want to go after the big books, but I'm the type of girl like the slow and steady, like the turtle, all right? And so what I mean by that, if I sell one ebook a day, that will give me $5,400 a year which means I can take that money and I can put it towards a bill. You can put it in savings. This is just passive income. So don't worry about every week making a thousand dollars. Like some weeks I make it, but some weeks I make a hundred dollars a $60. Either way, both weeks I still get paid and both weeks I didn't have to do anything. It's just there. So that's all I have guys. All right, guys. So I know this video was a little bit longer than expected, but I really wanted to go into detail on telling you how I make $1,000 a week selling an ebook online. If you are interested in making an ebook, when I tell you it is so simple, it's so easy. There's other content creators that will walk you through it where you don't have to actually get someone to proofread your book or even design it. You can do everything yourself. And I mean, I did that myself in March. I could have used that product, but I just wanted to elevate the experience a little bit and it definitely has paid off for me. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you ever thought about creating an ebook? Don't forget to go ahead and get a copy of my ebook. Okay, get my ebook and planner. But also I wanna do more videos like this, maybe more of a just a story time feel where you can understand just some business related videos because your girl out here, you know, low key, she a boss, all right? A little bit of a boss. No, I'm just joking, guys. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you wanna talk business, business or branding, or if you just want to run your ideas by someone, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well. So let me know. Go ahead and book. You can go to the Body Brand Boutique. I will have everything linked down below. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.